a lot of our art is uh, it's not just you know foofy is the way I like to put it. It's not just based on hey that's a beautiful image. I'm gonna recreate that and uh, send it out to the public. A lot of our stuff um, is very message driven, very inspired by what is happening around us and the discontent, uh, whether it be from our side, society, our government, uh, our generation, just a, a fundamental lack of things. And we like the idea that art can educate and uh, motivate a generation and uh, hopefully inspire people to basically further and grow themselves spiritually, physically, artistically, however you want to put it, just, just grow in the way that they see fit. You know? I think uh, what we're trying to do with the, the gallery, the studio, and the community through uh, reaching out and just getting people involved and uh, giving them a voice, if you will, you know, because everybody needs a voice. It's uh, been working out fundamentally perfect as far as I'm concerned. But we need to keep up the fight. <laughs> now, for me personally, the way I came up with the name Ghost Ship of Suburbia was I had a dream a long time ago about being a slave on a ship coming to the New World. So, in other words, colonialism. And as I was about to be branded by the, one of the pirates, I saw the clouds move and I saw a city ahead. And another time, I had the same dream. And another part of that, that dream that didn't happen the first time was that when I looked at the water, there were the souls of dead Africans, as well as hip hop artists and that have been assassinated, more or less, for the last, over the last few years. And for me, when I woke up, I realized that this is, something very powerful that I really, really need to give, you know, I need to give it some claim over my life. So I always felt that I was carrying the souls of a thousand people, i.e. I, my ancestors, you know, being brought to the new world, hence the name Ghost Ship of Suburbia.